Hey yo, what's decent? I'm going against Sucker for Jessica in this Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle, and this is going to be big. Now, he's going to start off with Fortress, and I'm going to start off with my Pika Glue. Because, well, you know, Pika Glue is a threat, but Fortress is a bigger threat. This thing's going to try to set up some kind of entry hazard, and I can't let that happen first turn. But, he's back in the red card. I did not expect that to happen. And, as you're going to see, there's a reason to this whole red card, because there's always a method to his madness. So I have Emo out in the field. I'm going to uh, Will-O-Wisp to take this thing's power up down a little bit. And to get some residual damage, because he's going to be Toxic Spiking. I do have three Pokemon that are immune to Toxic Spikes, but that can still cripple my entire team. But I'm not going to stick around too long, because I don't really have anything that can take down a Fortress right now. So, I'm kind of in trouble. But I'm going to switch into Gluchek, and, well, he's going for the Explosion. This is the second Fortress that has Explosion that I've ever gone against. This is pretty insane. But the red card is pretty much because of Toxic Spikes, and he would set that up first turn, and then force me to switch out. That's a very, 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 very good play, and good strategy, but I was not about to let that happen. So, now he has a Charizard out, and... I don't know why, in my mind, I panicked, and I s decided to code to the Galvantula to eat up a, uh, one flamethrower, but I forgot that I did not defog and get rid of his toxic spikes. I should have done that, and I could have gotten a clean switch to Galvantula and guaranteed at least a Pokemon dead with the Galvantula getting kills again. But I don't make that, can't live with what ifs, I gotta actually just, you know, go on with what's happening. But, he was going for Will-O-Wisp, so he was trying to get residual damage off on my Mana Buzz, which is a very, 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 very mean thing to do. I'm very scared, but... I don't know. I, I, I can't do anything to this Charizard. I really can't. There's nothing I can do. So he's gonna send out the Executor after I send in my Galantula. And now, my Mana Buzz is out on the field. He has his uh, Executor. He, we both, like, were threatened by each other's Pokemon that we kind of just switched around. But now he's going to switch again, and he's going to go right into Magnezone. Now, this Pokemon I do not know anything about, but I'm going for the Foul Play, and Kashyyyk is going to have this red card thing again and switch my Mandibuzz out, and now I have Emo. Thank goodness Emo has Levitate, so it does not get affected by the uh, Tox Spikes, but this thing's gonna hit me with a Hidden Power. That's super effective, and he got a crit. Now, this makes me wonder, what Hidden Power does he have? Because that is very, very scary to have a Hidden Power on the field. And then, I guess my stream was kind of influenced me, telling me it was Hidden Power Fire, but I switched into Glue Chick, and I could have kept Emo out and burned this thing, or at least did some kind of, like, I don't know. But I didn't. I got hit by this uh, flash cannon. Emo kind of resists that, so I would have been able to survive. I'm going to get the defog now, so I can bring in Pokemon, even though three of my Pokemon are immune. And now I'm going to try to uh, do as much as I can to this thing. But this thing has hidden power. And it is super effective against Mandibus. Which means this thing is running hidden power ice. And I don't, I don't know why I didn't think about that. He's got a, he's worried about ground types, and I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't even thinking. I was like, oh, maybe it's against steel types or something. Is that, come on, come on, glue, use your noggin. So I'm gonna get the heck out of there because, well, Manibuzz cannot take another one of those. And I'm gonna go right to Lady Glue, and I'm gonna get the Intimidate off. But he's going to go for the Flash Cannon. I don't know why. Oh my gosh, he just has, he has this method. He goes Lady Glue. Or, it goes, Flash Cannon, Hidden Power, Flash Cannon, Hidden Power, and he's annihilating my team with that method. But, he's gonna, uh, uh, take his Magazone out and switch right into Landorus, and I'm going Mega. I am very, very, very scared of this Landorus right now. Because even though I am a Mega Mawile, I went for Sucker Punch. Wasted a move. Now, I gotta go for Sucker Punch this time just to get some damage, because there's nothing I can do. I should have gone for a switch to Emo or something because I could have easily eaten up an Earthquake with a Levitate or a Flyer. Two Pokemon are immune to it. But now I make another misclick, and I switch in Pika Glue. Now, I'm going for the Fake Out. It wasn't as much a misclick. It's more I should have taken a Pokemon and brought it out just to kind of be Death Fodder. 
I didn't want Pink Glue to be that death fodder. But I'm, I'm expecting him to have an Earthquake. I completely mispredict. He's going for the U-turn, and he's going to be able to get a clean switch, and I am going to lose my emo. That's not a good thing for me. Did not expect the Landers to even have that. Well, I did expect the Landers to have U-turn, but I didn't expect it to use the U-turn. So he's going to go to Charizard, which is his Mega. He's going to get his Drought back up, so now if he wants to bring his Executor, he can bring it out, and it can just play nicely in the sun. But I'm going to kick Galvantula out. And I'm going to uh, predict that he was going to switch into Executor because he's scared. But I completely mispredict again. I go for the Sticky Webs. And he is going to stick in and do the Fire Blast. And that Fire Blast is going to completely annihilate Galvantula because my Sash is not on. So, oh my goodness. I'm getting outplayed. I think, what, I'm, I'm losing... I have three Pokemon down at least? Or maybe at least two and soon to be three. But... I thought the Lucha would be faster than Charizard Y. I don't know why I thought that. So I was going to go for the Sky Attack just to deal massive damage, but he gets the Will-O-Wisp. He's going to weaken my Halucha. He knows this Pokemon is a threat. He watched my video with the Halucha. So I'm still going to do actually a lot of damage with that, but it's not quite enough. But since my Umberton is activated, I'm faster than this thing now. I'm going to go for the Acrobatics, and I'm going to deal a massive amount of damage, but not quite enough. So this Charizard is going to finish me off with a... Fire Blast, that's two Fire Blasts that he used, and they both hit. This Charizard has some, like, binoculars or something. Like, oh my goodness. So I'm going to send out Pikachu. I was expecting him to stay in. JK, I had a feeling he was going to switch to Landorus or Executor, and Executor and Landorus are not going to take my Hidden Power Ice very well. At least I made one good prediction in this game. I have to have that much. <laughs> So, I took down a major threat, which is his Landorus, and I have his Fortress down. So that's two Pokemon down. I'm down, what, four? <laughs> I think I have this. I think I have this still. So he's going to send out his Charizard. I'm going to try to switch or, switch it around just a little bit. I don't want to be going against his Charizard right now. So I'm going to switch to Gluchik, and Gluchik's weak. I expect him to go for a Fire move, but he's going for the Accuracy over Power, and he's going right for the Solar Beam. And that is actually going to make Gluchik survive. But I have the leftovers. Maybe I'll be able to take another attack if he misses the Fire Blast. But he's going for the Solar Beam again. I was hoping he'd go for Fire Blast and miss or Will-O-Wisp and do something with that. But he's going for the Solar Beam. He's going to be able to take down my Gluchik. I, I was like hoping that maybe Gluchik could survive, but no. Not happening. But this is going to allow me to bring in my Pika Glue. I think this is it, guys. I think Pika Glue is going to pull up another late game sweep. Going to take down this Charizard with a fake out. Not anything this Charizard can do. But now he's going to have a clean switch right into his Executor. But the sun is not up after this turn. So Executor is going to be slow. Well, actually, the sun is up, but the speed fell because of the sticky webs and whatnot. So it's going to still be slower than Pikachu. And I'm not going to do anywhere near enough to take down this Executor, and that is going to be a good game. Um, I hope to do this again, Kashif. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and what you doing?